Hello guys, welcome to the studytonight.com. In today's session, we will discuss about the data types in Java. So let's see the today's agenda. So firstly, we will discuss about the definition of data type. Then we will discuss what are the classifications of data type. Out of this classification, in this session, we will discuss about the primitive data types. And then of we will see the practical implementation. So let's move towards the first topic that is the data type definition. So the first question that comes into mind that what is data type? So data type depicts that how can we represent our data and it also depicts that which type of value the variable has. So guys in the further sessions we will discuss about the variables, the concept of variables. Don't worry about that. You should concentrate only on the data type part for this session. So if you talk about the syntax, then guys, you can see that there are two ways that we can specify our data type. So if you talk about the declaration part, then you should follow the syntax that is data type and then variable name. If you want to see the example, then you can see that int a. So it means a variable that is a that only contains the integer data type value. And if you want to initialize any particular value, then you can use this initialization syntax. That is int a is equal to 4. Here int is equal to data type, a is equal to variable name, and then value is equal to 4. So this is all about the declaration and initialization. Now let's discuss the data type classification. So there are two types of data types. First is primitive and second is non-primitive data type. If you talk about the primitive data type, then there are eight types. First is Boolean, then character, byte, short, int, long, float, and double. And if you talk about the non-primitive data type, then we have some another interesting data types that we will discuss in the further sessions of Java, that is array, class, and etc. So let's discuss the primitive data types at a glance. So guys, this is the tabular representations of eight primitive data types, their default values, and their default size. So first, let us suppose if we want to use the conditional data type that is the boolean so it stores only two values first is true and second is false and the by default value is false and the default size is one bit same case if you want to use the character values then this is the default value and default size is two byte if you want to use the numerical values then you can use these four data types first is byte then short, then int, then long. These four are used for numerical values. You can see the default value of each and every data type as well as default size of each and every data type. So for byte, default value is zero, default size is one byte. For short, default value is zero, default size is two byte. For int, default value is zero, default size is four byte. And for long, default value is 0, capital L, and then default size is 8 byte. So this capital L depicts that, yes, it is the data type of long. In the same case, if you want to use decimal values in your program, you have the two data types. First is float and second is double. Here, by default, data type is double. If you want to use the float data type, you can use this default value, 0.0f. This is the default value and default size is 2 byte. If you want to use the double, then by default value is 0.0d and default size is 8 byte. So guys, this is the tabular representation of data types. Now let's discuss some practical implementation of these data types in Eclipse IDE. So let's go to the Eclipse IDE. So let me create a class. In the previous sessions, I already told you how to create a new project, how to create a package, how to create a class in Eclipse ID. So now let's create 
a, another new class for this. Let us suppose my class name is data type. I already told you that class name should be start with capital letters. So data type my class name and we have to click on public static white mean and then just click on finish. So let's discuss each and every data type one by one. So guys first data type is boolean. So we write like this boolean b is equal to let us suppose true. And if you want to print this value, then system.out.println value of b is value of b is and then we can print like this. So if you will run this program, this is the run button. You can see that value of b is true because true value is stored in this b variable and what is the type of this b boolean so this boolean is the data type same case if you want to write here false then it will give you the false value like this in the same case next is care so how can we represent the care data type? So care, let us suppose C is equal to care values always stored in the single quotes. Let us suppose A. And let me write like this value of C is and we need to print C. Now let's see the output. So you can see that the output is A because a value is stored in C. You can write like this also. Let us suppose C is equal to at the rate. This is considered at the character C. Okay. You can put the number here also. You can see that value of C is 1. Now the next thing is byte, short, int, and long. So these are the values used for numeric values. So firstly, I'm showing you the use of byte. So let us suppose 2 like this. Okay. And let me change the value of variable. That's it. Okay. Now if you will run this, you can see that two values stored. So guys, these byte short, int and long is used to store the integer values, numerical values. So let me give you the example of short, let us suppose 3 and uh, then we need to change this variable name and let's print the program. See, value of s is 3. Same case for int i is equal to 345 and we need to print the value of i so you can see that the value of i is 345 now long l is equal to 45678 so if you want to print the value of L, then you can write like this and you will see the value 45678. You will write like this also, this capital L and let's again run C. Okay, so you can write in the both way. Now, if you want to print the decimal values, so float F is equal to 3.4 f and we will print the value of f so let's see the value you can see 3.4 okay now let's try to remove this f 
So guys, it will give you the error. That is the compilation error. Because by default, it is taking, if you will not put F here, then it will consider it as the double. Okay. So guys, always remember this. Whenever you want to declare a float variable, float data type, you need to put F. And if you will run this, now it will give you the correct output. That is 3.4. Okay. Now, let's see the double D is equal to 45.26. That's it. And let's print the value of D. And we need to run the program. So you can see that, guys, 45.26 value will be there. If you want to put the D, it's okay. You can put. And if you don't want to put D here, that is also okay for the double. But guys, always remember if you want to use the float, you need to put F as a suffix. So guys, these are the primitive data types implementation. So that's all for this session. And in the further sessions, we will see some more interesting topics in Java. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.